We have an alarm going off but inside of our aircraft which says that we're about to stall. Uh, I don't feel like that is the case, so... Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> Alright guys, here they come. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, amazing. Oh, here come the rest of them. I don't think any of these are actually going to hit the... Oh, oh, there's the one that spawns. Oh god. Okay, well, there's going to be a little bit of a rogue wave going on here, but that's fine. I don't know. I'm hearing, like, it's very windy. And also... What the... Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. This is of course Stormworks, and we are going to be taking off of an aircraft carrier today. If you guys haven't seen the previous video with this aircraft carrier, I suggest you guys go ahead and see it, because I do a pretty good tour of it, we actually go all the way around it, and we check out all of the rooms. But today, we are not actually going to be doing that. We're going to be taking off with this thing, we're going to be bombing an island, or actually maybe that oil rig over there, and then we're going to be coming back and landing on the aircraft carrier. And when I say bombing, I actually mean shooting, because this thing has auto cannons on it, and I don't think it has any bombs. So, there you go. But anyway, let's go ahead and get inside this thing, take off, and hopefully have a good time. Let's do it. Okie dokie, so we are inside the puffin. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually get this thing working in the way that I need it to. So, first off, I actually really, really, really want to close the canopy. Uh, and I don't know how to do that just yet. <laughs> I can't actually see the canopy thing. Uh, oh, there it is, canopy. So the canopy will close. Excellent. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the avionics breaker. There we go. Cockpit backlights. There we go. Uh, pylons master arm. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, gear lever. We don't need that just yet. Enable nose. No. Pylon down. Hold on. Navigation lights. Yes. All right. That's it. Enable engine. Stabilizer. Throttle up. Let's go. Can we actually take off with this thing? That is the question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We need to turn the brakes off. If we can. Press 3. Alright, here we go. We're taking off from the aircraft carrier. I mean, that was the worst takeoff you might ever see from an aircraft carrier, but it worked. So that's good. There we go. Landing gear is coming up. Excellent. Oh, nice. That is actually pretty sick. And we're going to start our attack run. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so first attack run, let's do this! We are gonna fly straight towards the oil rig, and I guess we're just gonna go ahead and try and blast it. I, I don't really know what else to do. Uh, is there anything on the oil rig that can actually be damaged? That is the other question. I'm not so sure. Anyway, one to fire. It doesn't appear to be working. There is no firing going on. There is zero firing. What? I'm confused. Okie dokie, so it turns out you have to select the pylon, which is um, via this thing right here, and we are doing pylon 3 and pylon 4, which means I don't think we can actually shoot these things at the same time. Now, I could be wrong, but that is the feeling I'm getting at the moment. But anyway, let's go ahead and get inside. There we go, excellent. And shoot! Oh, this is cool, actually. This is pretty sick. We hit the target. Yeah, we did. That's nice. Excellent. Woo! Okay, so let's say we hit the target, and now we need to return back to base. How do we actually... I, I don't know how to land this thing, uh, it, like, effectively, let's say. Uh, let's go ahead and throttle ourselves down a little bit. We need to put our landing gear down. Uh, stabilizer should probably go on, I would imagine. Uh, stabilizer? Where is it? There it is. Stabilizer. Excellent. Uh, and then we need landing gear to go down. There we go. And we should be good. Excellent. Yeah. We have an alarm going off inside of our aircraft, which says that we're about to stall. Uh, I don't feel like that is the case, so... Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it is. We are seemingly just falling out the sky. But now we're not. There we go, excellent. And we should be able to just land this on the deck. There's no arresting cables or anything like that, but you don't need them. Um, if you're just going to land like this. There we go, excellent. And we are back to pretty much where we started. That's amazing. Nice. Okie dokie. So we did actually manage a take up and a landing. There was actually a cockpit light right there. I didn't even realize. Uh, and there's a pistol as well, just in case we need a pistol. But um, yeah, you know what? This plane is actually pretty good. It works actually quite well on the aircraft carrier, uh, which is kind of interesting, I suppose. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try and turn this thing off now. We're going to get outside. We're going to disarm everything. And uh, yeah, we're just going to jump out. So there we go. Excellent. Nice. Uh, it does appear to do this quite a lot, though, when the aircraft carrier is on the move. Uh, and granted, this isn't actually for an aircraft carrier, so that kind of makes sense. 
Okay, so one of the things that I didn't use before was actually the catapult. I'm not going to use that again today because this aircraft doesn't actually have the uh, the right connectors for it, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to test out the aircraft carrier versus, I don't know, maybe a whirlpool, I guess? Also, the, uh, the landing has fallen off the side of that, so that might not be able to take off ever again, but maybe it will. I don't know. Anyway, there should be a whirlpool around here somewhere, so uh, let's try and find it and see if the aircraft carrier can deal with it. Wait a second, what if we don't? Alright, okay, I'm gonna hide inside the bridge, but we are gonna do a meteor strike on this thing and see how it actually deals with that. I'm assuming it wouldn't go well, but I don't know. Let's give it a go. Okie dokie, I'm hiding inside the bridge. Let's go ahead and do it. Spawn a meteor, let's see what happens. Actually, let's go into photo mode too. Uh, and we'll see if we can actually see them falling from the sky. Currently, I don't see anything. But look at how awesome this thing actually looks. The whole aircraft carrier is absolutely fantastic. But anyway, field of view, let's go ahead and do this and see what happens. Ready? Because they should be falling any time now. I, don't, I currently don't see any. Still don't see any. Still don't see any. I thought we would have seen some, some, some meteors by now. Where are they? Alright guys, here they come. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, amazing. Oh, here come the rest of them. I don't think any of these are actually going to hit the... Oh, oh, there's the one that spawns. Oh god. Okay, well, there's going to be a little bit of a rogue wave going on here, but that's fine. Um, apparently, all of the meteors actually missed our ship. That's perfect, actually, because, you know, if it did hit the ship, that would suck. Wait, there's more. There's actually... Whoa, they're going from every direction. What the? Jesus. All right, this ain't good. This is not good. Also, where's the aircraft? Oh, wait, what? Why is this damaged? I don't know what's going on right now. There's literally a meteor, like... Whoa! What is going on? That is... What? That is literally insane. Why is that explosion so big? I wasn't expecting like a million meteors to come out of the sky. What in the world? That's crazy. They've actually like fully destroyed the bridge. I don't know how this happened. What? That's actually insane. All right. Well, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to get out of the bridge because I don't think it's a good place to be. Uh, in fact, I'm going to run along the back of here. Are those clouds? Those are just clouds. Okay, I was thinking there might be more meteors, but there's not. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, Rogue Wave is coming in from behind us. We need to watch out for that. Uh, and everything else actually seems fine. Everything else is fine, right? Yeah. I think? I don't know. I'm hearing, like, it's very windy. And also... What the... What was that? What was that? Wait. Okay, soon... Right, okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I spawned this in. But the, the the more meteors, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. A meteor literally just hit the ship. This is insane. <laughs> this is actually insane. All right, I need to try and find... Um, uh, that's not actually doing anything to us. I don't know where the plane's gone. That might have gone with it. Uh, we need to try and find ourselves some welders. Because I need to fix the, uh, the bridge. I need to actually fix the bridge. Uh, and then we need to dodge the islands in front of us. Because at the minute... I feel like we're driving straight towards the islands, and that's not good. So, we need to find a welder. If you guys know where a welder is, that would be amazing, but I don't know where they are. I don't know where the welders would be. I have no idea. Alright, I've gone down to the hangar bay, because I figured this would be where the welders are, but unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be the case. There are no welders down here. And also, the rogue wave is right here as well, so we've got to watch out for that. I need to go back up to the top deck. Come on. Please work. We might have destroyed the thing for this. All right, let's go to the other one, quick. Okay, so we've been lucky. We've dodged that island right there, so that's pretty good. Uh, I hope there's no islands right in front of us, because that would suck. But uh, yeah, I don't think these are working, because we've been hit by a meteor, so. Oh no, it's because up was automatically active. Never mind. All right, it's coming down. We need to go upstairs. I need to find a welder. That's all I need. I literally don't know where it is, but the uh, the elevator thing is right here already. That's pretty good. Uh, we need a welder. I don't know where they would be, though. I figured there'd be some in here because, you know, it's the aircraft maintenance hangar thingamabobby. And, um, yeah, there's none. Also, we are going just the same speed as the Rogue Wave, so it's never catching us. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, let's go up, shall we? Turn this off. Turn this on. Jump aboard. Let's go. Nice. Also, I do still have a pistol. I don't know why, but I do. So, that's a thing. Are those actually helping us? I'm destroying the, the winches for no reason. Alright, throw this overboard. Get rid of the evidence. How do I throw it? Backspace. There we go. It's gone. 
Oh, it's right there. Never mind. <laughs> we need a welder. Come on, there's got to be a welder somewhere in here. There has to be. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher. That's not going to do the job. What's in here? Flight deck WC. That's the toilet. That's not going to do it. Flight deck control. That's not going to do it either. Where's, like, the maintenance stuff? It's all I need. I just need maintenance stuff. All right, I'm literally back down here again. I don't know where the thing is. I, there's no welders. There are no welders on board. But anyway, um, that's crazy. That is actually crazy. We need a welder. So I think what we'll do, we'll go to the shore now. We'll get ourselves a helicopter with a welder on it. And we'll bring it out here and try and fix the ship. I, I'm, I'm assuming there is actually a welder somewhere on here, though. I'm pretty sure, anyway. All right, we've got it. This is the Omni OH-22, I believe. Let's go ahead and jump inside of this thing. Uh, we'll fly out there and hopefully all will go well. So, I don't actually know where it is. Uh, that is one of our main issues. We need to find it. Um, it did actually set off from down here, so it's gone straight north. So it's somewhere around here, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. We'll go ahead and put that in as our coordinates and we'll be good. All right, let's take off. Avionics, yes. Master, yes. Engine on and off, let's go. Navigation lights, uh, beacon strobe lights, cockpit lights, there we go. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take off with this thing, get over there. Oh, wait, does it even have a welder on? It does. It's got a welder. <laughs> okay, imagine if we didn't actually get a welder out of this. Uh, right, okay, excellent. Uh, we need to go up. For some reason, I am unable to actually go upwards. The collective isn't doing anything. Is it because of this? I don't know. I don't know why it's not going up. Why are you not going up? I'm confused. What? Oh, okay, right. There is a throttle idle slash flight. Okay, excellent. Now we're in the sky. That is amazing. Let's go. Let's get out of here. There's the rogue wave. We took off just in time. Amazing. All right, waypoint. What the? Waypoint. Go. Altitude higher. Higher. 333. That's excellent. Landing gear, come up. Where is it? Landing gear up. There we go. Right, okay. We're going to fly out there, try and find our aircraft carrier, land on it, fix the bridge, stop the thing. That's all we need to do. All right, I actually feel like we've put our thing too far away. So we're actually going to go ahead and turn ourselves around, go towards this waypoint instead. And I feel like it's more likely to be around this area because I think we dodged this island. Maybe. It might have been this one, though. I'm not entirely sure. It might have been any of these, actually. It could have been any of the islands that we dodged. But honestly, it's fine. We're going to fly back over here, uh, and we're going to see if we can find it, land on it, fix it, stop it. That's it. I'm extremely confused, guys. I am extremely confused. Uh, it has actually... So, it sailed past this island right here, right? We did see that. Uh, and then it went north. So, let's set this as our waypoint. We'll go back north. Uh, but it said it spawned in, and I had a look around everywhere, and I didn't see it. So, maybe it's actually sank? Or maybe it's just disappeared. I'm not sure what's happened. But something very bad has happened, I think. Would you look at that? I've just got all the warnings again, as if we actually see that. There it is! Oh, there it is. Okay, right. It's off to our side. That's why I didn't see it. All right, turn the autopilot off. Let's do some flying on our own. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Is that actually going to crash into an island or something? It looks like it might have beached itself. I'm not sure what's going on over here. Uh, we'll drop the landing gear straight away. That's fine. Uh, and we are flying against the wind. Oh no, it's not beached. It is just about to crash into an island, though. It's about to crash into an island. I, I feel like it's... Is it? That might actually hit the island, but it might skirt past. I'm not sure. I really don't know. We need to go faster. Is there any... Any way of speeding up, guys? We need to speed up. Binoculars, let's go. It might literally just go past the island. That's crazy. If it misses, that's insane. I don't even know if it's moving. Is it? Is it moving? I think it might be beached. It, honestly, it might be beached. All right, let's go ahead and land this uh, helicopter on here. I don't know whether we would be able to land it on... I want to try this, okay? I'm going to land it on one of the uh, the elevators, and we're going to try and push this helicopter into the hangar. Just because I feel like it's a good test for it. Also, why is the helicopter, like, literally sideways? That was weird. That was really, really strange. But anyway... Uh, let's land this thing and hopefully everything will go well. I have very limited control over this. It, I, it is worth mentioning. I can't actually, like, pilot this thing properly. We're going down. I'm trying to make it go left, as you guys can see. But it's not going left. I just flew through a rope. 
but that's fine. Let's go backwards and down. Here we go. Excellent. All right, landed. Very, very landed. Okay, excellent. That's fine. Idle, let's do this. There we go. Turn everything off. Master, avionics, we're good. Jump outside. Here we go. Excellent. All right, close this up if we can. There we go. Very nice indeedy. And then we should be able to send this downstairs, but we might have to do it from downstairs. I'm not sure. Anyway, we need the welder, and we need to fix the thing. That's it. Okie dokie, so first things first, let's go ahead and elevator this thing down, there we go, and then we'll get back up to the bridge, fix the bridge, and then come back down here, push this inside, see what happens. You know, to be fair, I didn't actually see if this was broken, but it is. It is definitely broken in here. Uh, right, okay, so now, we need this to stop, we need this to go back to zero. Alright, we need to fix everything so that it does actually go to zero. Turn the lights on. Can we? Yeah, we can. We can turn the lights on. Fix the light. There we go. Amazing. So now we've actually stopped this. It doesn't move anymore. Excellent. Let's go back down to the hangar. Make sure the helicopter can get in and see if it worked. And there's the helicopter. This aircraft carrier is amazing. It's lagging me out right now, but I think that's because we are, uh, we are like beached. Uh, and honestly, if you beach a huge creation in this game, this is likely to happen. Yeah. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, wait for this to come down a little bit further. We'll jump on, we'll release the brakes, and we'll pull it in, if we can. I don't know if that'll work, but it's worth a try. Here we go. So, go inside. Uh, sit in the pilot seat. Release the brakes. Fracking brake release, there we go, excellent. And then push it forward and see what happens. Ready? Here we go, we can actually put it inside of our aircraft carrier. That is amazing, yeah. Does it fit, though? Will it actually fit inside? Also, we should totally have an aircraft tug, but tug, aircraft tug, but we don't, so never mind. But anyway, we should be able to drag this inside. We would be able to turn it if we were strong enough, which I think we are, to be fair. So let's try. Here we go. Run to the other side. Push it this way. Yeah. Turn it in. This is excellent. Woohoo! Nice. There you go. And then we've actually got an aircraft inside our aircraft hangar. This is the first time I've actually done this, so that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. If you guys want to check out any of the creations I've used today, I'll link them all down below. And, uh, yeah, you guys should definitely give this a go for yourselves. Also, if you guys are actually enjoying these videos, leave a like on them. It will help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.